Hey guys, it's GamerCat09. Welcome back to Life is Strange 2. Let's continue. Damn, that is crazy. And I thought I was having a shitty day. I knew that guy was sketchy. Why did he freak out on us? Why did he freak out on us? Good question, my friend. There are a lot of messed up people out there. And you're throwing a little racism. <sighs> yeah. I don't think he was down with our last name. Welcome to Redneck Land. This ain't Seattle no more. Only lived in one place. We only lived in one place my whole life. Kinda lame, but... Well, you're pretty young. You have time. That's what's great about traveling. It gives you perspective. Sometimes maybe too much. Well, don't let it phase you, little dude. You're going to meet some amazing people on the road, too. <laughs> What's under the blanket? <gasps> Come on, I'm not stupid. No, he stole the puppy. <sighs> Daniel. What? We <laughs> saved her. We're heroes. <sighs> yeah. Guess we are. <laughs> so... What should her name be? Hey, uh, your dog, your choice. Oh, cool. Let's see. Um, mm, how about uh, mushroom? What? She totally looks like a mushroom. Mushroom? I don't want to name the dog Mushroom. Come on. That's not even a name, dude. But I love mushroom. And you said it was my choice. Okay, okay. You win. <laughs> but this one's on you. Ooh, yeah. Thanks, big brother. See, mushroom. Mushroom. Oh my god. <laughs> Couldn't be spot or nice. <laughs> I feel like I just witnessed history. You're on your way to becoming official road warriors, my dudes. Please don't turn out to be a total creep. <laughs> I kind of have bad feelings, but... Sounds like you've been on the road for a long time. Long, boring story short. I come from a family with money. But, no soul. I took off after school, and never looked back. Now I write stories for zines and websites, do podcasts, protest, try to make some positive change. Eh, whatever. Wow. So you're like all political. Everything is political, Sean. Ever get money? Or lonely? Why did I ever say ever get money? <laughs> Don't you ever get kind of lonely? Well, there's a big difference between alone and lonely. Yeah. And you probably meet a lot of people out here. That's right. The unseen side of America. Hmm. Hey, no matter what, I just try not to get cynical. Otherwise, I'd be like my family. End of the day, we have to watch out for each other, right? Yeah, you did watch out for us. Thank you. Seriously. <laughs> Looks like your brother crashed hard. Oh. No. Good. 
He always goes right to sleep in cars. Yeah, and feel free to do the same. I won't take it personally. What about you? You okay to drive? Oh, yeah. This is my favorite time to drive. Traveling by night is kind of mysterious. Please don't turn out to be creep. Please be okay. <laughs> Cute little popper. He's gotta know who we are, right? Like, there's no way that he doesn't. If he does a lot of online work, he probably reads a lot of online news. He's gotta know who we are. North Oregon coast, three hours later. I guess it stopped raining. Oh, he's peeing? Oh. Gotcha. Man, look at that. Oregon is like the edge of the world. Hmm. Uh-oh. What are you going to say? Hey, listen. I know what happened with you guys in Seattle. I knew it! I knew it! Do you want to talk about it? Yes, I do! Are I want to- I want to talk yeah. about it. No pressure. Yes. I- I don't even know what happened. It was so fast. Well, it technically was my fault. I did start a fight. It was all my fault. Dan didn't want to play slow on me, and of course I told him to get lost, and our asshole neighbor was picking on him, and I freaked out. So Dad came out to help. Somebody called the cops, and they killed my dad in front of me. It's all my fucking fault. All I had to do was play with Daniel, and Dad would still be alive. I fucked up my whole family, and now we're alone. <laughs> hey, it's gonna be all right. Take a deep breath. Oh, man. It's not your fault. You don't have control over all this stuff. You can't blame yourself for everything that happens in this world. You're gonna be okay, Sean. How? How? My life feels like... like that town down there. Wiped out. Destroyed. Empty. Like I have nothing. What is sure is, that's the past. But you can't look back now. You've got each other. And you have to move forward. Why? 
You may not see it, but what you and your brother have is the most important thing. He needs you. And you need him. I can tell he doesn't know what happened. Sean, at some point, you're gonna have to tell him. I know. I know. I just have to find the right time. Take it from me. The sooner you can address it, the better. Yeah. I'm gonna do it next chance I get. At least that's just... what we say. It's not gonna be easy. So then, what's your plan? Where are you going? Good question. I was thinking... Get out of the country? Fuck it. Go down to Mexico, you know? <laughs> Damn. I thought I was the long-haul traveler. Should I go back? Should I go back? Uh, to Seattle? Maybe I can try and explain everything. What happened? You should do what you think is best. If going to Mexico seems like the right thing to do. It doesn't. So be it. You're going in the right direction. You have family there? Maybe. We don't even have family in the US. Except for grandparents we don't see anymore. What about your mom? No, no way. She's out of the picture. But she's your mom. Dad, he always talked about this plot of land he owns in this little coast town, Puerto Lobos. That's a pretty cool name. So it's gotta be great. Okay, so you've still got a long ways to go. We've shot the shit long enough. Time to hit the road. But... You... <sighs> Oh god, Arcadia Bay Storm. Listen, I'll drop you by a motel. I didn't even know that hours. was a place. You guys oh. could use some time to yourselves. Okay, I got distracted. But anyway. Are they really serious about going to Mexico? Like I don't I like I think they just need to go back and talk with people. And I, I understand the whole racism barrier, but they're making it incredibly worse. If they just keep running and keep getting into trouble and keep accidentally hurting people. Pacific Harbor, Oregon. Two hours later. But like... <sighs> oh god, is this that place? That I was briefly in in Life is Strange? Okay, Mushroom, you can chase me. Then, Sean. <laughs> um, no. Come, see if you can catch me. Ow! <laughs> it's Brody's car. We're so Brody's lucky car. He helped us. If it wasn't for him, we. Oh, my backpack. Phone is still dead. Hello, real world. Almost broke, but needed those supplies. Now to check out how lost we are. Weirdo, but cool. Something? She was kind of okay. Almost nice. Put that fire the fuck out. Holy shit, crazy racist, played sheriff, and trapped me in a shithole. Daniel saved my ass. Kid is brave as fuck. What happened after? Earthquake? Bumped into weirdo while running away. He saved us. He's awesome. Feeling safe for first time since Seattle, thanks to Brody. Also, we picked an odd mushroom on our way out. Probably a bad idea, but whatever makes Daniel smile again. I still have to tell him. At least now I know we're where we are off to. R.I.P. Arcadia. Fuck tornadoes. 
Oh, it's a nice picture of mushroom. <sighs> Too bad sandcastles never last. Glad to see him act like a kid again. How will I tell him? Uh, play fetch. Hey, let's play fetch with the pup. Really? Yes. Let me do a test throw first. Cool? Well, okay, but I'm next. Okay, puppy. Go wide. Oh, I don't want to throw too far. Come on, mushroom. Get it. Go, mushroom. Good girl. <laughs> Good doggy. I think we need a frisbee. Whoa. What did you find? Different stick. You just killed a shark. <laughs> you deadly mushroom. She's awesome. Ooh, nice. Okay, give it to Daniel. Okay, here. <laughs> and let let me hang on. Ooh. Yes. Oh, so I can only have one at a time. Whoa, we are... Holy crap. We are very far away from home. Are they really planning to go to Mexico? There's no fucking way. We're in Washington. Oh, there's are all the th the things we got. Oh, that's neat. Wow. Watch okay. how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Yeah, don't throw it into the fucking Look, it's a stick. Fetch. Brody. Come on, Mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? Oh. It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And... Some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's my turn to help someone. It's right there, room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But you have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Really? Really? You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He Brody, deserves to. You're not leaving, are you? Yes, yes, I am, but not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta da! I, I mean, ho ho ho. And don't you dare argue about it. I'll leave it right here if you do. Okay, you win. Thanks, Brody. Is it 10? Or is Feels it good. a bigger backpack? Here, looks like it's yours now. As always. <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official guard dog? <laughs> sure. It's... Your bandana now. Oh! I can't. Okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, A Tribe Called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can, okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. 
Ah, bro hug. Dude. Dude turned out to be pretty cool. <sighs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. I'm gonna miss him. <sighs> Me too. Dude. If the dog dies, I'm gonna fucking ball okay. my eyes out. I can't deal with it. Time to hit the sack. Does the place, does the motel allow dogs? Did we think of this? Don't worry, Mushroom. I got you. Okay. New item added to inventory. Oh, is there like... Oh, what's that? Brody left that letter in the backpack. He sounds really worried for us. Sean, I am a better writer than I am a speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while you and Daniel are asleep in the car. How? <laughs> you were driving? How? <laughs> I am sorry that I can't take you further, but there is a good reason to it. As dysfunctional as it can be, family is family. When we met... I was on my way to Utah, where my mom is currently losing her battle against cancer, and I have to be there. Oh. Okay, now I understand. You'll find a few dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I have left, but you need it more than me. Your goal is good, and you need to follow your instinct, but please be careful and protect your brother no matter what. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. In any case, I think you'll be safer there than you are here. A dead cop in the current state of things cannot be a good way to start negotiations. Wait, the cop died? He- the cop died? Oh god. I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. P.S. Hit me up when you're safe. A tribe called West. I'm always online when not driving. Been a while since I've used a pen. Hope you, hope you decipher. <laughs> um, that that's really cool, man. Um, so why does it keep saying? They have stuff to... I, I don't know why it keeps alerting me that I still have stuff to look at, but... Hmm. That is really weird. Okay, okay. well, whatever. Good. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. Shouldn't have any trouble from them. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If you're <laughs> lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. All right, we're up on the second floor. We're on. We're at ten. Eight. Nine. And ten. <laughs> Shh, be quiet. Ooh. Check it out. It even has a bathtub. <laughs> Good. I'm gonna throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice. And warm. We can charge the phone. This bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad. But too far from the TV. Can I take the one in front of the TV? Huh? Want to play it over rock, paper, scissors? Oh, there's no way you can beat me, bud. Ready? I'm oh, boy. I'm so ready to beat you. 
scissors. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Okay. Sure. Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but suit yourself. Not this time. And rock. Oh, tie. Aw, oh, come on. Oh, man. Paper. Again? Are you serious? <laughs> Great minds think alike. So, rematch. And rock. Yes. Aww, come on. Not fair. You lost, man. What's not fair? I wanted that bed. Take it. Eh, uh, take it. For real? I don't really care. Awesome. They're the same, you know? Yeah, but I like this one better. All right. The poor dog. <laughs> I'm gonna run a bath. Dog's like, what the fuck? We totally reek. Especially you, Pig Pen. I wouldn't be so sure, Cave Boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Let's check our phone. Oh, cool. Hot Dog Man is on. Oh, there's handwritten note. Thanks for everything, Brody. I'll be extra careful. Oh, that's uh, what we just oh, read. I remember this episode. Weird, it's on so late. Man. Wish we still had Brody around. Oh, we got forty-six dollars. Nice. Bothers me that I can't do anything on here. There's a card. Yeah. Don't think we'll be coming back this way. Hey, Lower the volume. Can you turn that down, please? Uh -huh. Okay. Okay. <gasps> Just a little bit. You can still watch it. There's an iron. I tried to iron my shirts once. Burned a hole through them. Oh, well, there's a tie. <laughs> I can see why they left that tie. There's a card. A cheap souvenir for a cheap trip. Makes sense. A dustpan? <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gonna sweep the carpet. Okay. Well, at least we know that stuff's in there. Um, I don't want to go outside. I can sit and draw, but I need to run a bath. I don't want to watch TV together. Here's Daniel's backpack and his shoes. This episode is awesome. You should sit down and watch it with me. I have to draw a bath. We stink, dude. What's the motel rules here? No worries. We don't have to build a fire tonight. Uh, must be over 21, which we're not. No smoking, no loud noise, no cooking or combustibles. Breakfast from 7 to 10. Check out 11. We assume no responsibility for lost items. It doesn't say anything about pets, so it looks like we're okay. Toilet trees. Um... Open? Fill her up. Okay. Ugh. Yuck, Sean. It's a condom in my bag. Gross. Hey! Don't touch that. Add some soap. Daniel will love this. Okay. Look at the tub. One bubble bath coming up. Brother of the month. Yeah, right. Okay. Man, this hot water is going to feel so good. All right. Bunch of toiletries. My hair feels like it's coated in dirt. A shower after Daniel will be bliss. Yes, it will. So when do I get to turn it off? Call the bath. Hey Daniel, bath's ready. What? Already? Yeah, it takes like Did 30 seconds. <laughs> no man, you smell so bad, there's no time to lose. 
Hey, you smell too. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no, the dog is not taking a bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. <laughs> Dog's gonna be in the bathtub. I should throw my phone away while Daniel is washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Take the phone. Time to say goodbye to modern life. But wait, what about checking our messages and stuff? No? We're just chucking it. Oh boy. Riley's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this. Or she'll get into trouble too. Oh no. <sighs> Wait, it says I'm worried. Call me back. The police keep asking questions. I don't know what to tell them. Please, Sean, call me now. Just talk to her. She's your best friend. Hey, Lila. Sean, is that you? <laughs> Do you... Sean! Oh, God. Are you okay? I guess. I'm... I'm in a motel. With Daniel. <laughs> Shit. Everyone's looking for you here. Are you okay? How about you? Are you okay? No. Everything's fucked up. I'm so worried about you. The cops are talking to everybody at school. This is a nightmare. We're fucked. Sean, don't say that. It won't be okay. I miss you so much. Maybe you could come back. I wish I could. You know I wish I could, but we can't take that risk. They're, they're gonna put me in juvie. Daniel! Oh shit. You're innocent. And I've got your back. No matter what. No way. I'm not gonna let you get in trouble for me. Stop acting like I'm never gonna see you again. That's bullshit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I totally hate this. I guess the freaking fighters are disbanded for a while should actually change us, I guess. So, where are you going? Um, we're just going away for now. I'll call you if I get a chance. I miss you, Lila. Sean, wait. God damn. You might want to wipe your phone before you throw it. Because someone will always find it. Just saying. Or we can just throw it. <laughs> what the hell? <sighs> okay. Don't think about it. Just tell Daniel the truth. Why are you... Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! You got it. 
talk directly. Man, I I can't dance right now. My legs are thrashed. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a Coke. Or something. Dude. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. Serious. Fine. What's the big deal? Oh, it's a big deal. Oh, it's a big deal. This is gonna be so hard. Just happened. Oh, fuck. oh my god. What is happening? Daniel. What's happening? Daniel, calm down. You lied! Dad! Our dad is dead! I was trying to tell you. It, it was an accident. A, a cop fucked up and shot him. That's it. Oh! I'm so sorry. Why? Why did you lie to me? I was scared? I was scared, Daniel. I didn't know what to say. You should have told me. I couldn't believe it either. I didn't mean to. It's not fair. Hey, come on. I'm here. It's okay. Whoa. I want that. <sighs> Me too. Now we're going to get kicked out of the motel. <laughs> you told me we were going to see Dad. I'm sorry. I just... Don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise. I promise. I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. I don't feel like it's gonna be okay. We're fucked. And I don't think Mexico will fix that. Sean. Am I? A monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're... different. Okay. What are we gonna do now? I was thinking... maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. Where's Mushroom? There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story? Like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories, too. Why 
once upon a time in a wild, wild world. Oh, okay. Two Mushrooms there. Living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Brothers were alone, and they had to find a new home. They started a journey to the great thing. God. Uh, this game's decisions are going to be so much worse than I think we've ever had to make. <laughs> ever. This, this isn't a zombie apocalypse. This isn't Arcadia Bay. We're dealing with people's lives now. We're dealing with two kids' lives now. And one of these kids has a special freaking like telekinetic ability, I guess? My god. So a couple a couple notes that I want to say about this is first thing, holy fuck what an eye opener this is. I mean, it's an eye opener in that I never grew up around people who were Spanish, who were Mexican, who were whatever, any kind of Hispanic person. So, to see this all being played out, and to see the decisions and the reactions and, like, the shit that happens through the eyes of a kid who deals with this every day, sucks. The only person that I've known, I had a manager who was Hispanic, um, but I've never heard of anyone, at least where I live, having issues like this. I'm sure other places across the world have it far worse, you know, certain neighborhoods and stuff. So the premise for this story is just a holy fuck moment because the cop got uncomfortable seeing what he was seeing just by his eyes only. He decided to take matters into his own hands. He acted when he shouldn't have acted. 
he should have assessed the situation differently, but I guess that's the problem that a lot of people argue about in this day and age is that sometimes cops shoot first and ask later. Again, never personally experienced this before, so I, I don't know how much I can offer on that opinion. I'm very biased on it, so that, that being said, that being said, in this situation, it, whew, I feel like going to Mexico, leading these two kids to Mexico is a terrible idea because if they think that they're getting in a lot worse situation right now, running from Washington, running from the situation that had happened and going to Mexico, wait till they get to Mexico because it's, it's probably going to be so much worse along the way than just turning the fuck back around, speaking with police, possibly going to juvie or whatever. But then maybe they're... They're afraid because of who they are that they'll just automatically get thrown in prison or people won't listen to their story. But staying on the road longer and on the run longer is going to be so much worse, in my opinion. Um, and especially if they keep hurting people along the way. Because if, if, if Daniel can't control his ability which it doesn't seem like he can. I don't even know how long he's had it. I don't know if it just happened because the dad was shot in front of him. But if he can't control his ability, that's going to prove to be a lot more difficult to handle and hide later on. Um, I did not know the cop was killed. I thought just the father was killed. I thought maybe the cop was knocked out because he was just pushed back. Uh, it seems like the kid that Sean punched is alive, that maybe he's just in a coma or something. <sighs> but what happened with the mom and why is the mom not a part of their life? Does she just not care for them or did something happen to her? I'm not sure. I feel like we're going to end up running into her somewhere down the road. Um, I don't know. It's just... It's just, it's gonna be a crazy fucking ride. That's all I know, it's a crazy fucking ride. Um, I will, I will give a round of applause though to the people behind the storyline because my god is it heavy and it's more modern than anything, especially in this day and age with a lot of people still still dealing with racism, still dealing with issues and topics and just political bullshit, I feel like this game is more relatable now than, than anything I've played story-wise in the past couple years. So bravo. Bravo for presenting it in a way where not only is it educational, but it's also eye-opening. Um, and I hope that it will help people understand the kind of issues that a lot of us, and I'm talking about us as a nation, as a whole, as a country, deal with. Whether you know somebody, whether you are that somebody, you know, whether you're friends with that somebody, or family with that someone, that there's still fucking issues like this and it should not exist in this world at all, regardless of your skin, regardless of where you were born, regardless of whatever. We need to just look at each other like human beings. We are humans. You could put any kind of costume on it. You could put any kind of bizarre freaking skin color, hairstyle, you know, language, whatever the hell you want, you want to slap on an individual, they are human still underneath. Hearts all beat the same. Brains all... Brains all brain the same, I was gonna say, but we're, we're just, we're people. We're just people and we just need to learn to get along. And that's my two minutes of politics. Maybe I sound like a hippie, but you know what? I think Brody and what he's doing is actually a lot more sincere and genuine, even though he appears to be a creep, than the guy from the shop, than his wife at the shop, than a lot of people. 
I think we all need to be a little like Brody, but less about the whole going into gas stations and bringing up naked people on the websites thing. Um, I think that's all I gotta say. I didn't realize how long the credits would be. It's like 10 minutes of credits. I just want to see my decisions. I thought this said dog bone. It's dog bone. Andrew Larcom Larcombe? Or is it Larcombe? Warren Purden. Toby Coleman. Jason Brooks. Brian Jasarawong. Jus Keith Hershey. Tiffany Ponciano. Adam Sullivan. Brian Hotdog Man Finkelstein. Noi Sasaki. And Amit Chosky. Sarah Kramer, Patrick Soon, Andrew Barty, Kimberly Lifshitz, Dean Okazi, Stephanie Pimentel, James and Mars, the Europe Analytics team, Tim Ward, Mark Hall, Matthew Ruse, Edward Mercer, Killian Lamana, Jack Tompkins, Starvos Kalekos, Christopher Windsor, Ashwin Patil. The online development. West online development. Oh, Aisden Ice, Tronson, Marcin Pos, the, po, Fos, Pos Peach, jo, Joao Lopez, Chris Kikiki, <laughs> John House. <laughs> I like that name. Tatiana Bernardo, Lee Relton, Florine Vinky? Vink? David Muller, Mark Bully, Brian Power, ooh, that's a cool name, Francesco, or is it Francesco? No, Francesco Grammatico, Elliot Hilaire, Ian Luitz, Tatsuya Ono, and Ricardo Perez, Antonio Marfugi, Roberto Torella, Dario D. Cesar, Enrico Balducci, Francis Dolan, Alessandro Pelizzari, Callum Denby, Alvaro Villaba, Villabla, blah 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 blah, Priya Rugapuf, Rugapuf, Rug Rughupuf, Rughupuf, dear lord, uh, Terence Chihu, um, um, they're going faster than I could read, they're so weird, Benjamin Garter, David Mang, thank you, David Mang, for having a nice, simple ish name. Uh, Justin Plouf Ploofy, Simon Tupin, Zachary Duquette, West Online Infrastructure Division, for Ferenc for Toy, Ferenc for Toy, William Brody, Peter Harvath, uh, Felipe Santiago, Sudhir Kumar Vala. Oh, the Greenlight Group. Uh, Janice Rao Sorensen, Casey Lynch, Liam B Bastida, Sal Baltis, <laughs> Sal Baltis instead of Bal Saltis, um, Tasha Miller, Alexandra Desant, Benoit Lafort, um, Michael Burthen, Phil Rogers, Michael Sherlock. Oh, simple names. Hooray. Oh, never mind. Yutaka Okura, Simon Proth Prothero, Koichiro Hayashi, Phil Elliott, Carlos Ar Arcu Galar Gallardo, Ronald Stapper, Edward Buffery, Val Valentina Molika, or Molicha, uh, Thomas Gilman, Adam B Budney. Ricky Rodriguez, Dingja, uh, Arthur Crispin, Jinrong Yan, Altagram Gumba, Graham McAllister, Bob Tilford, Joseph or Joseph Kulik, Sarah, Sa Sarah Simmons. And this game uses the Unreal Engine 4. 1998 to 2018. CRI movie, Cryware. Oh 
powered by WIs. True Sky. And this set of fonts. Ooh. Hel Helvetti Hand. Oh. Caveat Sandalit. Thickety Quick. Nucha. Roboto Regular Font. Uh, Source Han Sans and LCD Mono. Nice. Thanks for playing. Oh. I felt like that was 20 minutes of credits. There we go. Holy crap. Um, you kept the Choco Crisp for yourself. So did 46%. 80% told the truth to Esteban. Oh, the father. Sweet. Oh, excuse me. So 80% told the truth to dad. 89% hugged dad. 71% didn't take the money from the jar. And 24% questioned Daniel. Well, I fucked up there, I guess. 42% didn't steal in the parking lot. Really? Huh. 49% didn't beg for food. 67% didn't steal anything in the gas station. Well, that's good. 41% uh, ran away with Daniel. 62% um, called Lila back. Oh, that's good. And 92% promised Daniel we won't lie to him again. Um, oh, so this is like the brother. Okay. So 98% of their, this is all Daniel. So 98% learned about trail, trail blazing. 73% didn't fall in the woods. I think I fucked up there because I believe in the one part where I played that you guys watched, I accidentally didn't help him over the first log and he fell. And then when I replayed to catch up with everything because I lost the save, I helped him. So accidental yay. I tried to do everything the same. 56% um, built a fort in the forest. 57% didn't do the wood race. What wood race? I didn't know there was a wood race. 53% uh, didn't learn how to skip stones. Oh, I didn't even check the river. 91% uh, didn't get mad. 75% uh, had an okay night in the woods. 81% um, didn't have to beg. 86% didn't distract Doris. Oh, that was the clerk. Okay. 45% uh, didn't eat enough. Wait, really? We didn't have enough to eat? Hot dog and a candy bar with a bottle of water is, isn't enough to eat? Really? I'm fine with a hot dog. Maybe I'm just weird. It's like, don't spend money, but also you're starving to death. Okay. 81% didn't get a Power Bear toy. Well, dude, we couldn't let him just keep spending money on a toy. He got a dog out of it, so whatever. And 38% didn't steal anything. Why would we steal from Brody? That's terrible. Why would you do that? Why would you steal from Brody? The guy helped you and gave you a fucking backpack right. and a room. Come on, man. Why would you steal from Focus. him? Oh, it's winter. Okay. Trust me. You can do it. Oh, boy. Huh. And I already did, so... <laughs> so I already bought it. Well. What's extra? Oh, just choices and document gallery. Okay, so that was Life is Strange 2. Thank you guys for watching. I hope everyone enjoyed this. I'm sorry it took so long. I didn't anticipate it crashing my actually my playstation 4 blue screening crashing and losing the save data for me to pre-play it back but luckily it didn't take as long as i thought but it took me a while to procrastinate finishing it <laughs> but i'm glad i finished it and i'm excited for the next episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this stay tuned for more in the future until then take care everyone 
Have a good one and bye-bye.